In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create Apple ID. So welcome to this video. I am Tutorial Tucker. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it and leave a like. It really does get this video to more people. So in today's video, I'm showing you how to make an Apple ID. It's a really, really easy process, but it needs a bit of guidance, and that's why exactly why I made this video. So if you do find it useful, make sure you watch right to the end because I reveal more tips and bits of advice along throughout the video. So I do recommend watching the whole thing. Or any further ado, let's jump into this. I'm now on my phone, and let's jump straight into this tutorial of how to create Apple ID. So let's jump into settings. That's the first step. So click on settings here. As you can see, when you first load into settings, you're going to be somewhere around here. Now, all you want to do is where it says sign into your iPhone to set up iCloud, the App Store, and more. You simply want to click on that. Click on it there, and you're going to have this screen appear. And as you can see, you sign with your Apple, Apple ID to use iCloud and other Apple services. All you want to do is go and click don't have an Apple ID or forgot it. Now, if you have something else said here, this means already have an iCloud account um, and you'll need to sign up to create a new one um, if you've got a name there. But otherwise, if it says sign into your iPhone, you're in the right place and let's jump into this tutorial. So all I'm going to do is click don't have an Apple ID or forgot it. And as you can see, I've now got these options here. Create Apple ID, forgot Apple ID and cancel. In this case, I'm going to create an Apple ID and it's simply going to load and we're going to be jumping straight into this. Now, as you can see, we've got a few things we need to fill in. And my first name is Rob and my last name is Tucker. So I'm going to fill this information in and enter my date of birth. And then we can just continue with this tutorial and then click next. And this is going to be a few sort of, you know, simple steps like this with any account creation. And as you can see here, you can either enter your email for your Apple ID or you can go and create one using iCloud. So if you wanted to create an iCloud one, you click don't have an um, email address. And as you can see, you can get an iCloud address, but I'm going to use one of my own ones and enter that in there. And then I'm going to go and select the next option here. Now, as you can see, you can actually go and choose if you're an Apple News and Announcements. Personally, I don't, so I'm going to click that off. And then next again. And as you can see, I now need to go and do a password. So I'm going to enter that in now and then continue once I've entered the password. And then I'm just going to go and click next. And I've entered my password. And then you just need to go and choose your phone number. And as you can see, this is my phone number here. I'll have to blur it out. And, and then I'm just going to go and click continue. And it'll take a minute to load and then you need to go and read through the terms and conditions and make sure you go and agree to them and you can agree or disagree now if you click disagree you aren't be allowed to create an account so make sure you understand the terms of service and then you can go and agree to that and then it's just going to have this which is signing into iCloud and it's going to take a few minutes to be on here and while it sets up all your Apple ID and other information around that so it'll take a minute but once you've got this account you can then go and start to download apps and do loads of other stuff and use the full Apple ecosystem system which is super super useful and there's a lot to it which you can take advantage of so it is really really cool and then all you need to do is enter an iphone passcode so i'll quickly enter mine now and i'll blur that out and it's going to save that and i'll take a minute to load and once this is it's just finishing off the final few steps and then i'll be showing you the next step of being able to fully finish your Apple ID and complete steps like downloading apps and I'll be showing you that all in just a minute. As you can see, it's now just finishing off, it's verifying and you've got these few options here. Now, as you can see, verify your email address to finish setting up your Apple ID, you need to go and verify this. So I'm gonna go and click that by click verify email address and then I'm gonna hop onto my email and make sure I verify it. And as you can see, actually, I can't use anything else without verifying it. So it's absolutely key. So I'm clicking send. And as you can see, I now need to get the verification code, which I will send. So I'm going to go and grab that now on my email. Um, it won't take too long. Um, so yeah, I'll probably do this on your computer just because it's all on my computer already. So I've now got this here and I'm just going to simply enter in. So the code is three. Um, and I can finish that there. Boom, it's now verifying. So as you can see, it should take just a minute to verify it. And now it's ready to use. So now the next step I'm gonna go and show you is we're gonna go and download an app just to prove this is fully working. So I'm gonna head off there, go into the app store and it will take a minute to load. As you can see loading, just click continue. And once it's here, we can then go and search for a free game or we'll just find a free game. Uh, so if we go into apps, for example, it will take a minute to load and say if you wanted to go and get TikTok, you could. So to do that, you click get. And as you can see, it will start this spinning. And then all you've got to do is in a minute, we'll have to finish this creation off. Uh, but it will direct you. As you can see, then you want to click install. And then all you want to do is go and enter your password. So I'll do that now. And I just click there and it's signing in. 
and it won't take a minute as you can see it's done and it is now downloading that is the tutorial as you can see you've quickly got to review this now essentially you've got, when you click review this gives you a few options you need to do um, so it's just gonna load it up as you can see but the main things are you need to add your address and you can also add a payment option if you'd like so as you can see complete your Apple ID um, agree to the terms of conditions um, I've read through them click next and make sure that's your country and then as you can see you've got these options here so you need to go and add your address and you can add a payment method but you do not have to so yeah that is the full tutorial and once you've done that you then click next and um, you can go and download the app it's so so easy i hope you found this video useful if you have go down below hit that like button subscribe for more content and i'll catch you in the next one peace